This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes and members across 150 countries. Some of the top classes in 2022 include learning how to use Procreate, how to take pro photos using your iPhone, fundamentals of DSLR photography, character illustration, drawing faces, figures and clothing, Adobe Premiere Pro for beginners, and so many more. I was completely spoiled for choice when it came to picking a course because there is just so much I am interested in on Skillshare. But ultimately, I chose a course which is going to help me in the long term and also plan for my future too. I actually chose two courses. <laughs> the first one is Personal Finance Masterclass and the second is Stock Market Fundamentals, both by Zach Hartley. Now this is a really, really, really interesting course and I'm thoroughly enjoying working through it because I have zero knowledge of the stock market, how it works, but I've always been interested in this area and my aim is to use the knowledge that I learn from these two courses to number one, get out of debt and number two, try to become financially independent. So if you're interested in learning a new skill or are just curious as to what Skillshare can offer, then please do check out the link in the description because the first 1,000 people to sign up using the link will get one month free to try out Skillshare. So thank you so much for listening and enjoy the rest of the video. Ah. Mr. Bateman, a pleasure as always. Yes, yes. I'm so glad that we could fit you in in such urgent circumstances. My receptionist told me that you were after a, a raincoat. Is that right? Oh, jolly good. I thought she'd quite lost the plot there. You see, she's new, so... She hasn't quite learned the ropes yet, isn't that right, Alicia? Yes. Raincoat. Yes, quite an odd sort of choice for the middle of summer in New York. But uh, may I ask what you need such a garment for? Uh, quite right, yes. None of my business. Quite right indeed, sir. Yes, well, whilst we're waiting for Alicia to get the prototype, shall we update your measurements? Yes, it's been a little while since I saw you last. Let me think, when was that? When was that? When was that? It was October last year, that's right. You were in for one of our new Armani power suits. Yes, that's right. How are you getting on with that? <laughs> excellent, excellent. Well, yes, they are rather sublime, aren't they? Yes, they just feel like second skin on the body. I'm glad you're getting on well with it. Now, I know you keep a very, very strict exercise and lifestyle routine, so I doubt much has changed, but since we have the time, I might as well just give you a little measure up. So, yes, please stand perfectly still. Your physique is truly godly. I tell all my clients that Bateman has the most perfect hard body. Oh yes. I tell them, if you want a body like Bateman's, then you better work for it. Hmm. Not ready to divulge your secrets though, are you? <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, I tell you what. I had a Mr. Caruthers in here last week. I believe he works for you at Pierce and Pierce. Oh, you know, 
half English, half Argentinian, slightly overweight, puppish, eager to please type of fellow. Well, he certainly knows you, Mr. Bateman. He was asking a lot of questions. He seemed very familiar with you, if you catch my drift, but say no more, say no more. Well, in any case, the man is a total fop. Velvet jackets, bow ties, boldly patterned vest, honestly. I have to take his Xanax every time that man comes in. It quite frankly hurts my constitution. But the customer was always right, yes. <laughs> How is life at Pierce and Pierce these days? Mm. Mergers and acquisitions, yes? Hmm. Must be quite exciting. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, really? Well, just spread your legs a little bit wider, Mr. Bateman, for me, and I'll get the inner seam measurement. Oh, perfect. Well, no changes to your measurements as far as I can see, which is truly wonderful. Where's that stupid girl with that raincoat? Excuse me a moment, Mr. Bateman. Alessia, where? I do hate it when you cry. We've talked about this. You're meant to be hot, not a hot mess. Now clean your face up and go do what you were doing before. Give me that. Ever so sorry about that, Mr. Bateman. Our poor Alicia does struggle somewhat. Unfortunately, her father is the patron of this establishment and is uh, quite a significant shareholder in the company, so one must do what one must do in order to keep the shareholders happy, do you understand? Well, you certainly do understand with the work that you will do, but um, anyway, I digress. Here is the raincoat for you, Mr. Bateman. I hope that it fits your specifications. Yes, it's the best we could do at such such tight turnaround time and at such late notice, but I think you'll find it's quite trendy. Yes, it's this gorgeous see-through pattern with this exquisite black piping, yes. Designer, um, Armani, again, yes, um, well, personal friend of uh, the head stylist there, so they whipped this up for me um, in a few hours, so, um, oh, no, 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 please be assured, the quality is as you would expect from Armani, exquisite, well put together, perfect. However, this is off the hanger, as you can see, and I think it might need a little bit of an adjustment on you, so... Allow me to just pop this on for you. Yes. My apologies, Mr. Bateman. Does that feel comfortable to you? Yes. Now, I can see right away that this needs adjusting. It's far too big on you. I did ask for your measurements to be taken into account, but 
someone must have been lazy in the warehouse and just given you this. Have a look, yes, you have a look. I quite agree, I quite agree. Let me get some pins here. Now, when do you need this for? This evening? Oh. Yes, I can get Marcus to do it. I, Marcus is my best boy. Marcus, darling. Yes, Mr. Bateman here needs this raincoat for 8pm sharp this, after, this evening. What do you think? Doable in that time? Well, you have roughly three hours, but it needs to be to its apartment, and that takes at least four to five in traffic. So I'd say you have at least two. What do you think? Sorry about this. I'll be with you in a moment. You can do it? Oh, perfect. Wonderful. Well, I'll pin up Mr. Bateman here, and then I'll get that over to you ASAP. Good. Right, Marcus is on the case. So if I could just pin this into place, then we can get him started sooner. Good. I tell you what, actually, talking about driving downtown, the, uh, the reason why I wasn't in when your call came through, I was actually at another one of your colleagues' uh, residence. Mm. Yes. Someone of Pierce and Pierce, yes. Oh, it was Paul Owen. Do you know him? Oh yes, Paul Owen. What, what can I not say about that marvellous man? He has got just exquisite style. He knows exactly what he wants. Have you actually been to his apartment? Oh, it is out of this world. White, pigmented, concrete walls. Large, scientific paintings scattered all around the house, and there is just this one huge painting. Just picture this if you have if you haven't been. Just this one huge painting, just the whole entire wall, and then underneath is this gorgeous black leather couch flat against the white of the concrete. Oh, it's breathtaking. Oh yes, Mr. Owen knows what he, what he wants, all right, that's true, down to the very last detail. I haven't seen anything quite like it. Have you seen his new business cards? Oh yes, he wasn't quite ready to part with one for me personally, but I'm sure he'll give you one next time he sees you. It's, well, he showed me it, really, and it was quite breathtaking. It's subtle off white colour just the thickness of it and it even has a watermark just exquisite exquisite yes Paul is is truly one of our best clients so house calls are not a problem <laughs> and of course if you uh, spend a little bit more money with us Mr Bateman then you will be eligible for house calls as part of our VIP package, but your credit line isn't quite at that level yet. So, I think this is nearly here. So you need this by 8pm. No later. I see. Are you going anywhere special tonight? Oh, the Texacana. Yes, I know it. Yes, I haven't been there myself, but I heard that the uh, cilantro crawfish gumbo is quite good. Yes. What time is your reservation? Oh, I see. Oh, so your reservation is at eight. I no, I totally, totally understand. I totally understand. The peace of mind of having the item there when you return is no, I get you, I get you right I think that is you all done how does that feel now? it is all pinned mm -hmm. 
Alright. Okay. Let's make sure it's small. Yes, I'm quite pleased with that if you are. Excellent. Now let me just take this off for now. Right. I'm going to give this to Marcus and he can begin work on it right away. Just two moments, please. You're almost, my darling. Yes. This for Mr. Bateman. Mm hmm Yes, I would say, yes, two hours, two. Thank you, Marcus, darling. Yes, I'll leave those hairs there for you, just in case. All right, yes, ciao, ciao. Wonderful, Marcus is on the case. So I'll have that hand delivered to your apartment by 8 p.m. sharp. Now, are you at the same apartment. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Right. So I'll get that personally delivered to you. And if there's any problems, please, please do give us a call. I'd hate for our quality of work to suffer. So the customer is always right. And we'd like to please. So please tell us we are open to creative criticism. Now, is there anything else I can help you with today, Mr. Bateman? A sweater vest. Rules to wear a sweater vest. Now, is the occasion strictly informal? Well, in that case, then, and this is just my humble opinion, of course, but with discreet pinstripes, you should wear a subtle blue or a charcoal grey vest, but a plaid suit, on the other hand, would call for a bolder vest, do you understand? Um, but avoid matching your vest with your socks. Wearing, for instance, argyle socks with an argyle vest would look too studied like you consciously worked for the look, which of course is just a big no-no. <laughs> Does that help? Oh, perfect. Glad I could help. So, it was an absolute pleasure seeing you again, Mr. Bateman, and I hope the raincoat serves you well. Yes, enjoy your dinner date at the Texacana this evening, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Mm. Yes, have a good evening. Bye-bye.